Hello and welcome back. So we're at the shop today. Wiring up a little plug for a generator. We're using an L1430P. You know you have that by this diagram. You can also read the receptacle that you're trying to plug into. It should be marked. Not all of them are, but most are. So how do you do this? All right, well, it's a four prong deal like this, okay? On the back, you're gonna look and see, okay, we got a we got a green with a G. I'm assuming that's ground. We have a W with a silver screw. Typically that's your neutral. Brass, brass on X and Y. Those are typically your hots, okay? Now, there's some instructions came with this. I did verify that is in fact the case of convention for this plug. Check your instructions. May tell you, you know, some different lettering, uh, but they're all going to be wired similarly. Again, check your instructions and verify. On the other side, we have a metal box and two standard duplex. Now you say, hey, wait a minute, that plug is a, uh, a 220 and your receptacles are 110. You're correct. I'm splitting the phase as they say. It's not really phase splitting because it's still single phase, but that's what people here call it. How do you accomplish that? Well, you have four conductor wire, okay? You have black, white, green, and red. Your green is your ground. You tie that together on your outlets. Your white is your neutral, and again, you tie that together. You now power each outlet with one hot wire. In this case, black and red. We'll get all this wired up. Should be ready to go, plug it in the generator. Now, before you all go run into the comments telling me, hey, you can buy one of those off the shelf. Yes, you can. And uh, it's definitely cheaper to do that than buying all these components. I was lucky enough to come across this piece of wire. I already had the box and the outlets. The only thing that I had to buy for this whole equation was this plug. They're still expensive, but in comparison to the whole deal, made more sense for me to do that and this will suit my needs. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. See you then.